This tutorial aims at undergraduate and graduate researchers who would like to set up their own psychology experiments but have had little to no programming experience. The first video is an introduction to the tutorial. I will give you some leads on where to begin. In the second and third parts, I'll show you an example of a simple computerized task and explain the essential components of the task. You can access the code and associated files on my website. After you've had some understanding, in the fourth part, I'll give you an assignment to modify the choice reaction time task into a number experiment using Roman numerals. I will then explain key aspects of the solution to the assignment, and I'll challenge you with a second assignment, this time by presenting items at random locations. The next assignments will be modifications of the two codes you have already written, this time by changing the task that you give to participants. In the final video, we will take a look at the data acquired from these assignments and think about psychophysics and the wonders of numerical representation. To begin, you will need a computer. Mine is a Macintosh, so the computer is Mac-based. The codes can be easily adapted for Windows, and I'll explain the minor differences across platforms. You will need MATLAB. A student version costs about $50 a year, but most universities have site licenses. You will need to download and install Psych Toolbox, a free resource that you can Google and install it on your computer. Next, you'll Google MATLAB Getting Started. The topmost result is what you'll need. With your MATLAB application open, you'll then follow the MATLAB tutorial from Desktop Basics, Matrices and Array, through Help and Documentation. This should take anywhere between a few hours to a week's time. It's well worth your time and effort. Now you're almost ready for part two of this tutorial. Before we start it, you'll need to remember the following tips. First, have faith in yourself and in the internet community. No matter what your problem is, you can always find solutions by Googling it. Sometimes the right solution may be pages down and requires hours of investigation but don't give up. Next, once you start programming a psychology experiment, you will frequently have the screen hanging up on you because of a programming bug. This will freeze not only MATLAB, but also your computer. The problem prevents you from seeing the error messages associated with the bug and makes it really difficult for you to debug your code. To force quit out of the screen function on a Mac, you should take a sequence of three steps. First, you will press the command key and the period button at the same time. This stops whatever is going on. Next, you will press the command key and the zero key at the top of the keyboard at the same time. This step brings your cursor to the MATLAB command window, allowing you to issue commands. You will not be able to see the command window because it is behind the home screen, but behind the screen you now have control. The third step is to type clear MEX to clear the hung screen. You can also type clear all, which clears all the variables and the MEX files, but I prefer to do clear MEX so that I still have the variables to help me debug. Sometimes the sequence of three steps don't work. Most likely that's because you have a typo, so you should press return and go through these three steps again. On a Windows computer, you can do Control, ALT, and Delete, and then terminate the PTB stands for Psych Toolbox, the PTB screen function. Don't terminate MATLAB because you want to see the error messages. Now, it may seem that I spend a lot of time on this part of the tutorial, but as you learn to program, you will appreciate how important these steps are. They give you access to the MATLAB command window allowing you to see the error messages and to debug your code. Now you're ready for the next part. I will show you a simple psychology experiment involving choice reaction time. See you in part two.